Fargo, team pilot with Precision Aerobatics and Hobby King. Today is episode four of my series on flying deliberately and learning how to fly your plane with purpose. Today's sequence is a little bit more advanced. Now this is for guys that are starting 3D, learning 3D, or who are already into 3D. Um, it's windy today and the sequence is going to probably look ugly. But I think the whole point to this is, I don't care how it looks, the point is that you're deliberate, you're trying to do something, and uh, deliberately doing something and not looking good is a lot better than just flying around crazy like we discussed so many times. So uh, this one has a little 3D in it. I think it's, uh, it, it should be really, relatively simple to master if you're into 3D. All you have to do is make sure that you only do maneuvers that you can do. Uh, if you're practicing certain things, don't practice on these flights, practice on, on just your regular time you know, trying to learn how to harrier and things like that. So anyway, here's the sequence. Okay, this sequence was done first try and to the best of my ability. I really wanted it to be an unedited attempt. High winds and everything. It is authentic and imperfect, which is exactly what I'm promoting. Just fly it. Intentional is always best. And eventually, you will perfect it. Obviously, today we're using an actual aerobatic plane, so... Um, we're going to do a smooth takeoff and we're going to go up at 45 degrees and we're going to roll. Maybe a two point roll to another, or half roll to another half roll. Slow descending turn to downwind. Now we're going to do a slow descending turn downwind. Two point roll to Flight inverted. Two. Now we're going to do a two point roll to inverted. Push to vertical at center. And we're going to go straight up. And we're going to roll straight up. Stall turn at the top. Stall turn at the top. Point roll straight down. Parallel. Now we're going to roll left or right. And we're going to fly parallel. U turn to runway show pass. Now we are going to just make a nice uh, U turn right here to, to a nice show pass. Roll to inverted. And we're going to roll to inverted. We don't have to go high. Push vertical and pull elevators ahead. Now we're going to push vertical. Do as many rolls as you want. Mode three. And we're going to flip it down to a Harrier. Hover at any altitude for 3D portion. And then we're going to come down to the ground and we're going to, we're going to go up into a hover. Now instead of going up at show center, which was my original intention, I forgot, so I went to the end of the runway. So now I'm just going to harry her down the runway. Upper is any altitude for 3D portion. As you can see, I'm fighting with a lot of wind, but I don't want to hurry anything, so I want to keep harrying. I'm flying slow, nose up, flying into the harrier, and now we're going to. And now we're going to hover. So I'm going to pull it up to a hover. And hover as long as you want. If you can torque roll, knock yourself out. If you can't, just stay up in a hover. The wind is blowing this away. So I am going to uh, go back up into a hover and we're going to exit straight up. Any tumbling maneuver you choose. You can roll on the way up if you want. And then we're going to do a tumbling maneuver, which in this case, I'm going to do maybe a knife edge spin. Whoops. Like I said, ugly. Harrier to low harrier. As low as comfortable. Now we're going to come back and we're going to harrier back to the runway. And again, you can do anything you want in this particular sequence. I'm just fighting with a lot of wind, so it's, it's really going to take a while to come back to the runway. What's next? Harrier in both directions, turning only with rudder. Okay. Now we're going to do a little Harrier, one direction. And we're going to go back in the other direction. The wind is definitely strong here. Full vertical, show center, quarter roll in. And we're going to Harrier the other way using only rudder. Okay, what's the next one again? Full vertical, show center, quarter roll left. Okay. Pull to inverted at top and fly level. Okay, so now we're gonna 
Go straight up again. Quarter roll. Now what? Oh, another quarter roll. And then split S. Oh, okay. So we're going to fly out inverted, and then we're going to do a split S. And slow aileron roll at the bottom. And when we get to the bottom, we're going to fly down the runway, and we're going to do a nice slow aileron roll. And then a Cuban H. I'm going to do another stall turn and do a Cuban 8 in the other direction just to make it a little easier to see and so things aren't happening too fast. So I'm going to fly straight down the runway. Here's the, uh, all the optional parts of it, but in this case I think a Cuban 8 is a really nice maneuver. I'm trying to fly nice and level, but it's very windy. So here's our Cuban 8 up over the top. Finish my Cuban 8. Fortunately, I think my battery is dying. And there's the bottom. Okay. Now, at this point, we could fly any type of maneuvers we want for the entire rest of the sequence. I'm going to turn back to show center. And if you just want to stop and hover, you want to do any type of rolling maneuvers, anything you want to do. Maybe do a little rolling harrier if you want to. Showing off your skills kind of thing. But at this point, we are going to have to land. So I'm going to enter into the landing sequence as best I can. As always, nice, long, and slow. And again, we're dealing with a really bad wind here. And we're done. So we'll do a little knife edge pass. I have no earthly idea why it was so ugly. Think I should land? So we'll set up for what we always talk about is a nice, long, smooth approach. Landing flap. Putting full flaps on. Line up with the runway. Nice, long, smooth landing. 